Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And here we have Monaco against Ajaxio. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts' hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Lineups for the game. on the way Mikla brought forward what does he try from here plays a clever pass Golovin oh, that had to be more accurate Golovin Cesc Fabregas Lejeune. Charles passes it through. It's come loose. Golovin. Henriks. Oh, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement? Forget it. Looks like a good ball through. Throw it. Done very well to intervene. Aimed long and direct. Well positioned to make that interception. Batia Chile. Silva. Looks to slip it through. He's been taken down and the referee has pointed at the spot. Monaco have themselves a penalty. A uh, look of amusement and dismay from the culprit, but the referee clearly thinks there was enough there for a penalty. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Dispatched with certainty. Well, the keeper certainly guessed right, but there was enough power to find the target. <laughs> Monaco take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Spoon forward. Charles tried to play it through. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in.
on the right flank. Now, what's next? Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Clear. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Fabregas tries lifting it over. Tries the route one option. And the half time whistle goes. Well, every now and again we get a bit lucky, Peter, don't we? And this is an absolute treat. A tremendous spectacle for the neutrals, but a bit of a nightmare for the fans and two managers. Monaco leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Monaco carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Deftly done. Decent ball. Shoots! Oh, good delivery. Almost the perfect outcome. Monaco didn't really deal with the wide play. It was a, a lovely dribble down the flank, but really they've got to double up to try and stop that. And I think with the attempted goal too, they were a little fortunate. They're committing a lot of men forward at the start of this second half. They know that this is an important time for them now. Glick pumps it upfield. Golovin brings it forward. Charles positions himself well and cuts it out. seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Looks to dig one in. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. But yes, Chile. up to see who wants it good challenge he just stood firm Adara gets it away tries to get it forward quickly Camille Glick Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Good clearance and very necessary. But yes, Chile. Fine defending there. But yes, Shiel has got himself a free kick. Who's going to make this theirs? Jemison. That's surely a foul free kick. Clears it out of harm's way. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Adara. Charles. And that's that. 